What's up guys? Glad to have you back. Today we're going to get into an unboxing of one of the dream cameras from my dream camera line that we couldn't wait to get into. Uh, today is not going to be too much of a technical or necessarily a review. We're just going to get into an unboxing. I'll show you everything that comes with the camera that I purchased and the kit that I got and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing right here. Bam. Cool. So the box says it's about 14 pounds and it definitely feels pretty heavy. So I'm excited to get started. I know I'm kind of holding it back a little bit, but I am pretty excited to go ahead and start opening this thing. So gotta have my knife. While I'm opening this, I'll just bring up the fact that while I've been looking into getting this, I've had a lot of people say, man, this is overkill for what you do. Do you really need something of that caliber um, for the line of work that you do? Um, and to answer those questions, in my opinion, yes, this may be a little bit of maybe too much for what they're willing to do or what they want to do. Wow, this is a lot of paper, by the way. And I want to make sure we put out the best work that we can. And sometimes you have to get the tools that are a little bit more expensive. So I'm excited. So let's go ahead and get underway. But so what we have here is a mini mag. This is by far the most expensive memory card that I've ever touched, ever seen. And I want to say that at the highest quality recording on this camera that this might only get me about 14 minutes. Oh my goodness. So here we have V-Lock expander. Let me see that red. Oh my goodness, I'm getting pretty excited, y'all. Set this down there. We have the touch screen, the LCD screen. The, uh, I don't know if it's LCD or not, but it is the touch screen that goes with the camera and the unit. We have the charger and a nice little red sticker right there. We have and I know you guys are like, man, can you just take out the camera, buddy, already? Hold on, we're going to get there, we're going to get there. We have the red station. This is for that very expensive memory card that I just showed you guys so I can be able to take the footage off and put it on my computer. We have, what is this? The out trigger. When I open this up, you'll see it's the handle that goes on the side of the camera. And I might put the whole thing together, too, if I know how to. More, okay. We got some more paper. Nah, let me stop playing with you. <laughs> and get the box out the way. And we have the camera right here. It is in this box. Now I've seen another review when a guy opened the box the wrong way and almost flipped the camera out. So I'm gonna try not to do that even though it doesn't necessarily specify which way I'm supposed to open this. But I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and open these bad boys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and open everything. Charger, I think I'm just, you know, charge this in the bag. Y'all really wanna see that? Yes, no, maybe so, maybe, okay. okay there, there. So we're gonna start off by opening the mini station first. Cannot wait to start shooting our first project with this camera. It's gonna be pretty, pretty dope, pretty dope. Okay. All right. I'm failing right now, guys. Hang on. I'm trying to keep... Oh, there it is. Got it. Got it. Packaging definitely looks <laughs> like the real deal. There it is. You guys can see. I know I'm really struggling on this unboxing. I'm, I'm first unboxing ever. So there's the... The, the mini mag station right there. This bad boy opened up. See, let's see. I'm smiling like this thing's an actual camera. Got some USB ports back there, on and off switch power port. And there's a station. There's another little box in here, I'm guessing with the power cord and USB cord, maybe. Yep. USB cord, power cord, some very sturdy cords as well. Nice little information slip. We will open up the monitor now. 
And this is the 4.7, I was right, LCD monitor. So pretty excited to get started in a red line. I've been wanting one of these things <laughs> for a long time. It's kind of almost surreal that we're finally able, getting, finally able to get the opportunity to uh, get one. So this is the monitor right there. It's definitely a very sturdy build. Wow, that is that's pretty dope. And then here's a nice little pouch to keep it in, I guess, to protect it. And there's also a little tool that goes in here, I guess, to secure it in there. Next, we have the V-Lock expander. Oh, just to let you guys know, I did already order some batteries. These are the Hypertronic Hypercore batteries specifically designed for the red. So, oh, I, I tried not to drop anything unboxing but I don't see it's gonna work these are the batteries right here came with two in the charger got these actually from B H so I'm putting those on there as soon as I get everything unboxed I'm just gonna sit that there too because that's an essential part So some things right off the bat that made me want to get this camera, the high frame rates, like being able to shoot 4K at 120 frames per second, being able to shoot 2K at like 240 frames per second. The dynamic range in these cameras is pretty crazy. Uh, so here is the V-Lock expander right here, which will allow me to put the battery on there and also gives me options for like HDMI out, HD, uh, SDI, DCN, audio for headphones and mics, USB, Different things like that has an eject button right there. So pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Okay, go ahead and open up this mini mag. Okay, the most expensive memory card I ever had and it's a little, little thick little memory card. So size wise, I guess it's a little bit like a CFAS card, maybe. Definitely not the same shape. So if you have a CFast card and you have a red, don't ever try to jam that in there. I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna work out for you. But size wise, maybe width wise, it's about like same width of a CFast, maybe. Don't quote me on that because I could probably be all the way wrong. Uh, this 128 gig card was On to the out trigger handle. So this handle here should have a nice little rubber grip as well as a start and stop button on it so I don't have to keep reaching down and hitting the camera to start and stop. So there it is in the box. There it is, that, I mean, this is pretty cool. The start and stop button feels like, I don't know, I have to see how sensitive it is once I get it on there, but it definitely seems pretty sturdy. So we have all the components that we need to get the camera ready. Now it's time to actually open up the camera body itself. Let me make sure I do not get this wrong. Okay, I'm assuming this way. Yes. Wow. This, okay, I'm being selfish. Let me take it out. <laughs> wow. I'm not even gonna talk about the box this time. Here it is. The Red Raven. And I know a lot of people, I've seen a couple other folks unboxing then they're like goodness gracious this thing is smaller than I thought um it's about the same build that I thought it would be it is it definitely does not feel like a DSLR I can tell you that right off the bat it does not it does not feel <laughs> like my Sony a6300 by any means this is the Sony a6300 I don't want to drop this thing this is the red raven it is definitely a pretty sturdy build you can see the uh, like fans on the top. There's a portion for the card. It is definitely a very solid build. 
This takes a cannon mount, so I already got some cannon glass that I plan to use on this. Very nice. Okay, so let's see if I can do this without breaking anything. I'm gonna try to put this thing together. I may fast forward this, but after that, then we'll conclude this unboxing. So let's see if I can get this thing put together. A lot of times when you have screws, you have a tendency to lose them or drop them or they fall all over the place. These screws are already in here. So like, all you have to do is tighten them. Um, they don't appear to be unsecured, like they're slightly secured within the unit itself. So all you gotta do is tighten it up. And I've heard from a lot of views that you don't wanna over tighten the thing, so I'm not gonna go too tight. But there that is. Let me grab a lens. Let's see. So yeah, I couldn't even go first time without uh so unloosen it, then take the mount off. And bang tighten it. <laughs> so there is the red. There is Red Raven, right there. Well, guys, that is it for the unboxing. Uh, I cannot wait to get ready to go shoot some projects with this. So, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts about this camera, any experience, please share your footage, share your thoughts. Um, we can't wait to get started with this, like I said, and we'll be posting some content shot on this very soon. So, definitely make sure you subscribe, like the video if you like it. Uh, share it and also follow us on social media on Instagram at Scott Studios Media. We just actually started an Unsplash page too, so if you want some free stock photos, follow us on there. And that is just at Scott Studios. You can also find us on Facebook at Scott Studios and on YouTube at Scott Studios. Okay, now I gotta go because I want to go shoot this thing. Take it easy.